Now, right now, in this day and age, this would be a perfect time for a remake of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Now, you're going to have people that say Need for Speed the Heat and uh, Need for Speed Unbound are, the, uh, are some good ones, but quite honestly, they're a failure. Literally, the design language, uh, you know, the modifications in Need for Speed Unbound are the same as Need for Speed Heat. It's just that Unbound had a much deeper story. And, you know, they decided to throw ASAP Rocky <laughs> in, you know, a game. I mean, there was nothing that was really different about it. I mean, ASAP Rocky is not even the top selling artist. The only reason he's popping right now is because his baby mama is Rihanna, literally. Bro, I'm talking about a nostalgia field remake. Yeah, add some new elements with the customizations and at least, at least a hundred to about 200 cars in this game. Uh, bring Razor back, bring Cross back, bring Mia back, and um, refresh the blacklist. You know, put a different set of cars and he'll re uh, stretch that a uh, 15 member blacklist to about 20 or 35 you know make the game last give people hours of playtime in this thing and give it like a a, a replay value like come on y'all we are tired of the same just shit with these need for speed games y'all give it a weird ass story like literally need for speed payback took a fast and furious five approach it it literally made no sense Need for Speed Heat, it was a good direction, but y'all literally abandoned the game. It could, it, that was worthy of a part two. And a lot of people don't notice about the, the car in the game, the BMW M3 GTR. It was a real actual vehicle. It competed in the GT category in the American Le Mans and won seven out of ten races. They literally kicked the thong inside of Porsche's ass. Under the hood was the P40B60, which was a flat plane crank 4 liter dual overhead cam engine with a sequential transmission behind it, which is, you know, why people like it in the first place. Now, sequential gearboxes have straight cut gears that go, ah, ah, which is the noise that you heard in the game from the car. It wasn't the engine. It was the loud ass transmission. I'm talking about that gearbox was singing like a church choir on a Sunday. Now, you guys got to understand, there was no way that Razor could, now that we're thinking about it, this was a full thoroughbred race car in a video game. And the only way Razor could have won was tampered with the oiling system. Now, this wasn't a wet sump. Oh, that's, nope, that's another story. If you want me to talk about this car in another video, comment below.